what's going on everyone the beard is looking okay today I, i'm not too happy i'm not having a great beard day i'm gonna give the beard today a 6.8 out of 10. yeah 6.8 that, that's where we're landing on the beard anyways uh, this morning is thursday and it's the third thursday of the month so that means that we have the neighbors monthly mixer which is a networking event that we go to every month um, we're one of the sponsors of the event so we get our logo plastered everywhere on the step in repeat backdrop on the screens we get a booth every month we get the opportunity to actually uh, get up and talk about ourselves and our business for a little bit but this morning um, I'm going to the event but one of our guys is off so Philip has the day off today so I had built the schedule to where I had enough time to be able to come to the event and set up my booth and hang out tear it down and get to the yard in time before the first appointment but we had an online booking come in last night and so unfortunately i'm passing rush coffee right now the rush coffee and they are also a sponsor they sponsor the coffee at the event the coffee is absolutely delicious by the way anyways so because of this online booking i'm not going to have enough time to be able to wait till the end of the event to break down all of my table and tablecloths and all that and then get to the yard in time. So I'm gonna have to leave the event a little bit early. So I am not doing the table, but I'm still gonna go, I'm gonna hang out, I'm gonna network, mingle, drink some coffee, and uh, maybe get an empanada. Just kidding, I'm fasting. No empanada, black coffee. And, uh, but so this morning I am using a new camera. Uh, we're using the DJI Osmo 3, a little handheld gimbal. Uh, I had the, or I have the DJI Osmo 1, which that one was okay. Um, definitely the first iteration and it was okay. It got the job done, but I unfortunately put it in my jacket pocket and it went through the washer and it definitely did not come out the same. I've tried to revive it, but so far, no luck. But this one I've been, had my eyes on since a little before we started thinking about or decided to do YouTube. Um, specifically they have a creator pack which has extended battery but my favorite part well besides the quality looks way better um, and that may just be because I can see it and the screen on this thing is a pretty good size but it has a built-in mic or a built-in external mic so with the GoPro it was really a pain to use the mic I had to you know get the GoPro obviously I had to purchase the media mod separately, which has like a, a shotgun style mic on it, but it's not the best as you've heard in our other videos. Maybe this will be a good comparison. Um, and in addition to that, you had to buy a separate little cable to connect to the media mod to the other DJI mic that I have. And so it was just bulky and kind of all over the place this is all integrated into one system so i like that it makes it a lot more simple no wires no cables smoother video looks like much clearer video which i'm a fan of um, and normally when i do videos in this van it is extremely loud so let me know below what you think so far if you watched any of our other videos quality on video quality on sound and yeah i probably won't show too too much of the neighbors monthly mixer since i did it on last month's video so maybe a couple snippets but nothing too crazy i, I was waiting for your move man uh, i can't say that i was gonna drop an f-bomb <laughs> so i saw your whole video the last time did you like, when you walked in i'm like yeah. the tv blurs up my f-bomb yeah. <laughs> I, I really loved your last but I, don't know, I think you could do a booth for one day. You don't have to do it for all, all days, but.
What are you doing right now? Uh, so right now we have a dumpster that needs to get delivered to a client. This was just booked uh, this morning, last minute for a same day delivery. Uh, however, this is a dumpster that came from one of our clients that uh, uses it for their property that burnt down. So it's got a lot of ash and debris. So it's making sure to get it rinsed off and washed off inside so we don't take that contaminated dumpster to another customer's property. Cause that's, that's no fun. Hey, how's it going? Um, this is a cool camera. That's all I have to say. All right, so uh, Neighbors Monthly Mixer done. Great event, great time hanging out and chatting with everybody. Uh, from there, I rushed over to the yard to grab a dumpster. Thankfully, we had one empty. Yesterday, Philip was out yes, picking up a whole bunch of dumpsters, but there wasn't enough time for him to dump any of them. So we had one more left that was empty. We'll get all of those emptied out probably tomorrow, but I'm gonna go deliver this dumpster. Then I gotta rush back to the yard, pick Chris up, we got to go dump that truck and then go to our first appointment. So we're definitely cutting it close on time. Thankfully, the dumpster is 12, 15 minutes from the yard. So um, we'll get some footage from our first appointment and yeah. All right. First job of the day approved. So first job of the day is just a bunch of appliances. Gonna get this loaded up. There is another recycling center that we just found not too far from here. So we'll be able to get these done and recycled pretty quick. Hello everyone, it's Christopher with Temecula Valley Junk Pickup. We're here today in a commercial property uh, in Sun City uh, doing a repeat client that we previously had. I don't know if you guys remember, but a couple of months ago we cleaned out an abandoned golf course and now they asked us to come back and get some more stuff for them. And as you can see here, we have a bunch of appliances, fridges, ice machines, uh, whatever, you know, just appliances. Uh, and we're gonna take them to the recycling center. So with us, these never go to the dump. We take them and see if we can get them reuse the metals that they have inside of them. Um, so give us a call uh, and we'll get rid of your appliances and ethically. All right, so we're all done. We've got that loaded up here pretty quick. But this property, uh, new owners, it was an abandoned golf course for many years. They are not rebuilding into a golf course. They're gonna end up putting houses here, but they're trying to make the city happy. So they gotta get the entire thing cleaned up. So had a great interaction with the new owners. It looks like we have some good future work coming here. So I'm excited for that. Made some big money today on recycling. Almost a full load. We got $29.37. There's not much money in recycling, man. All right, well, today was a fail on the content day, at least for most of the day. Uh, got a little busy, a little hectic, and wasn't really worrying too much about filming, just focusing on getting the work done uh, but we finished up the day dropped Chris back off at the yard and then we had another rental come in so uh, two same day dumpster rentals which is good we have another one uh, going out tomorrow morning a couple coming in and we got to make quite a bit uh, quite a few dump runs so I'm looking forward to next week with being able to train our newest hire Mr. Casey so yesterday I got all the paperwork side of things set up, um, got all his info sent over to the insurance guy to begin all that stuff. So by Monday, um, he'll officially be on everything and ready to rock and roll. Ordered his card um, and his fuel card so, you know, he could take care of whatever expenses come along. But anyways... Um, it was an okay day. This week itself has been an okay week. Monday was strong. Every other day this week has been lackluster. Very lackluster. But, I mean, 
that's this business guys ups and downs ups and downs there's very few times that I can remember just being a constant up and that would definitely be the the COVID years when everyone was getting extra money uh, so ebbs and flows but keep pushing keep making it happen I got a couple ideas for some videos coming up um, I was doing a little research and there's a million videos on like how to start a junk removal business. Should I start a junk removal business? How to make X amount of dollars with the junk removal business. So I think I'm going to do one with my own take though. I think we'll see. So my content creation today I would put it at we rated the beard this morning pretty low. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the content creation today at about a six. Six out of ten. Uh, things got a little hectic, a little busy, didn't really feel like filming. One of the appointments the customer was out there with us, so it was just things didn't it just didn't work out. Um, is what it is. Um, I got some, I got enough to probably put a short video together. Uh, we did have something frustrating happens and this happens every once in a blue moon. And, uh, so we did the load, um, at the golf course. Then we had to shoot over to this recycling center, which this recycling center is not close to us from where we were at. It was still 20 minutes in the opposite direction that we had to go. Got there. As you saw, we got our big old check. Then we had to go to the next appointment, which was about 45 minutes away. We did the usual, we hit on the way, customer gets the text message. As we're pulling up, literally we're pulling up and the customer waves and runs over to me. I was just about to call you guys to cancel. just spent 45 minutes driving down here if it was our normal crew that would have been an hour and a half of wasted labor more really because you got to drive to the next one fuel wear and tear yada 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 and he's like well you know don't worry we'll, we'll, we have lots of rentals we'll call you out for the other ones you know and, and they told us it was a you know free estimate anyways right and I said yes it's a free estimate when we have the opportunity to try to earn your business not to drive 45 minutes just for fun so i was a little frustrated i shouldn't have reacted that way to the customer i will say i was wrong in that um you know i caught myself got over it moved on it is what it is it is what it is it could have been worse i could have had two guys on the clock said i just had one so very little positivity in there but that's always frustrating. Um, we actually had two issues this week. Um, we had that, and then we had someone book an appointment, receive their confirmation messages, receive their on the way messages, and just didn't show up. And we were meeting them at a storage facility, so that was, you know, it's not like we can go knock on the door and see if they were home. But that stuff rarely happens, so I don't really worry too much about it. I don't have, you know, a policy in place you know, it's, it is what it is at this point. If it continues, then we got to reevaluate. We had thought about a policy, you know, a while ago, but I just, I don't know. I didn't like the way it came across. So we'll see. So anyways, yeah, that's the end of my day. Today's my son's 13th birthday. So I am heading home to uh, do a little celebration with the family for him. We are making some homemade pizzas in our uni oven. Maybe I'll throw a little a little footage of that in here, but I'm real curious to see how the video quality though and the audio sound should be good. Should be good. <laughs>